Hi and welcome to this Zendesk Explained video where we are going to be discussing ticket status, uh, what its status is and how it should be used. Uh, now whenever any agent is working on a ticket in Zendesk and wants to submit an update, uh, they need to specify a status at the bottom right hand side of the screen. The first ticket status is new and this indicates that the ticket has just come into your help desk. Now a ticket can only be in a new status once, meaning that if you move the ticket into a different status, it can't be moved back into new. Um, and if a ticket is assigned to an agent, it will automatically be moved away from new into an open status. The next status is pending. And this is when you're uh, waiting for a customer or a requester to get back to you with information. Um, so the way a flow of a ticket would normally go is that the customer has a problem, they submit a ticket, um, uh, the agent looks at it uh, in a new status, they think, okay, well, this is nice, but I need more information. So they will respond to the customer with questions um, to get that information that they need. When they sub submit that uh, response, they'll set the ticket into a pending status, meaning that until the requester responds, uh, they won't need to look at that ticket. Now, once the, the requester responds, uh, at the ticket will automatically be moved into an open status. Uh, an open status is when a ticket is waiting for a response from an agent. The open status makes it very easy for agents to know which tickets they need to be attending to. As you can see in this view, all the agents open tickets are at the top and the tickets in other statuses are below. The next status is on hold. The on hold status is not waiting for the requester. It's not waiting for the assigned agent. It's waiting for something else. It may be waiting on development to build in a new feature. You may be waiting on another process to take place or any third party thing to update the ticket before input from the agent is required. One other thing to note about the on hold status is it's not a default status in Zendesk. It's something you actually have to switch on in the ticket field settings. Next up, we've got solved. Uh, so once an agent has all the information that they need on a ticket uh, and they believe that they're going to be able to successfully resolve the ticket for the customer uh, with their update, uh, they set the ticket to, an on, uh, to a solved status. Now, if the customer responds to uh, a ticket in a solved, on hold or pending, uh, it will automatically be moved back into an open status, which ties back into that view that I showed you before, uh, you know, allowing agents to easily identify which tickets need to be uh, attended to. And then finally, we've got the closed status. And that status is just that. It's, it's closed, you can't do anything to that ticket. You can't uh, add a comment to the ticket, you can't uh, change the status any further, you can't change any ticket fields, you can't add any tags. It's done and dusted. With one ex exception in that if a customer was to respond to a ticket while it's in a closed status, uh, a follow-up ticket would automatically be created uh, and any follow-up ticket would contain a link back to the closed ticket and vice versa, a closed ticket will take, contain a link to the follow-up ticket, meaning that um, you can, as an agent, follow the conversation up or down a um, series of uh, follow-up tickets um, if required. And that is Zendesk Ticket Statuses Explained. Now, if you're looking to improve the efficiency of your support team further, here at Sweethawk, we've built a series of workflow apps that extend the functionality of Zendesk uh, and solve common use case scenarios like creating checklists, uh, sub-ticketing, calendars, approvals, you name it. So check us out at sweethawk.co or click into any of the other videos that you see on the screen here. Thanks for watching.